It's an absolute pleasure to bring this expert view from the home of English rugby, Twickenham, looking beautiful behind me. And what better place to be to talk about the theme of this year's competition, the Olympic qualification of the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series, where the top four teams are going to qualify to be in Tokyo. Throughout the year, we've been looking at a win-loss momentum tracker, which really shows with great detail just how the teams have been performing throughout the whole series. And as you can see from the series tracker, looking at USA and Fiji specifically, their start to the season was absolutely phenomenal. Fiji gaining 18 wins and USA hitting five finals, taking down Las Vegas, cemented their place in the top four and means that just a quarter final placing in this weekend's HSBC London Sevens will mean they are automatically qualified for the Olympics. So the momentum tracker is a great way to look at how teams are on form and winning the big games. But what we're going to look at in this feature is about the moments that matter. Digging down into how the teams who are competing for the top four have perhaps fluctuated, battled and those crucial moments that didn't quite go their way. New Zealand's momentum started as well as it could by winning Dubai Sevens. But then the crucial point potentially of their season in Cape Town, having lost to Samoa, then facing South Africa to go out the quarterfinals for the first time ever and with that moment we saw a piece of absolute magic which will be a pleasure to show you with more detail it comes from a set piece and the man throwing the line out in is highlighted for a very specific reason Kura gets the ball off the base of the line out and this pass is incredible Malia and Koch completely lined up opposite each other and as that 21 meter pass comes out Malia creates a four metre gap on the outside of Vernacock and then off he goes. Malia, the jack of all trades for this New Zealand team, pulled out an incredible moment as at that point New Zealand were 12 points behind with just 80 seconds left to play. An incredible statement and it meant that New Zealand progressed in that tournament and got those crucial points in the cup competition. New Zealand once again showing how resilient they are as a team and have maintained that incredible record of never missing out on a quarter-final. One of the most intriguing battles of this season has been the sparring for the fourth place between England and South Africa. South Africa, an unprecedented poor start to the season and had their worst performance in Vegas, with England picking up rare wins amidst a few loss. Both teams have been absolutely ravaged by injuries of key players, but South Africa's most definitive moment came in Singapore. What an incredible performance that was. 19-0 down against Fiji. And as we can see with this clip here, the young players have been tested in ways that they had never previously been. Angelo Davids, one of the newcomers, first touch of the ball, gets an opportunity to go around the outside. You'd think for all money he'd score. He spills the ball, which could make some players lose their head. The mental fortitude of this man to get back in the game, put himself available on the left. And Hedo gets it on his left foot, perfectly timed kick, caught, scored, and has a little time to think about his actions in the in-goal area. It came down to the kick, and Davids duly nudges it across, left foot, meaning that they came back and won the tournament for those crucial points in Singapore. South Africa's young people really did step up. But the experienced team of England at times showed moments of really not knowing what it is they should be doing. And this clip really does show this. Against USA, they were 19-0 up in Vancouver. They have six men within 17 metres of each other, meaning that the Cepho is held out on the left, saving space. It's almost like a premiership-style defence from England. As Mitchell comes to try and shut the ball down, he's just two metres away from where he needs to be to stop a Cepho offloading. Thomasin gets the ball on the wraparound, and that score proved crucial in gaining chance for the conversion of Madison Hughes against the country of his birth to win the game for USA and stop England getting those vital extra points. At that moment, England were ahead of South Africa on the standings, potentially one of the most crucial moments of the series for England and South Africa and Olympic qualification. This weekend could well see some wonderful storylines being put out there on the turf at Twickenham as Olympic qualification is looming and these teams are looking primed and ready.